why Buhari government is secretly planning to negotiate with Anamde Kano vocal Biafran agitator Mweke. Welcome to the news and please subscribe to our channel. Kano's matter has attracted a lot of attention internationally after his last appearance before Justice Bin Tanyako at the Federal High Court in Abuja. Now the news in detail. Emeka Enweke, a vocal supporter of Nande Kano, leader of the indigenous people of Biafra IPOB, has said President Muhammad Buhari's government is preparing to secretly have a dialogue with the cessationists. Kano's matter has attracted a lot of attention internationally after his last appearance before Justice Bintanyaku at the Federal High Court in Abuja last Thursday. Sahara reported has published this week how the United Nations Working Group made urgent appeals to Nigerian and Kenyan government, asking them to explain how the pro Biafra group's leader was arrested and extradited from Kenya to Nigeria in June. In a tweet yesterday, the Biafra agitator Emeka Mwike at Emeka at Emeka said Buhari and his key cronies in the presidency are planning to secretly beg Kanu have a dialogue. He said this came as a notable international war crimes investigator, Dr. Alan White, has taken Kanu's case to the International Criminal Court, ICC. He tweeted, Buhari and the Kabaos moved to beg Nam the Kanu secretly to dialogue as Dr. Alan White, the international war crimes investigator, who was hired by Mazin Nam the Kanu, has hit the war criminal Nigerian federal government with the biggest blow in ICC. White was founding crimes investigator of the United Nations backed special court for Sierra Leone from 2002 and 2005. It is not a thing of shame. I keep saying this. It is not cowardice. Maybe it is, we are not even in a military regime. It is a democratic system of government. People are meant to appeal to people. Eh? It is not even supposed to be seen as beg. No. You go for dialogue. And of course, if the situation is now, you're the one that has fought and fought and fought, of course, you meant to apologize. It is, not, it is not something to be ashamed of. One is bound to make mistakes. But the thing is, after realizing your mistakes, what do you do? Saying they secretly beg means, like, maybe they don't want to be seen as no. It should not be the case. If they really want to go through dialogue, they should go through it openly. Yes, we run, I keep saying it, we run a democratic system of government. They should allow people. They should allow people or they should be allowed. Yes, they have the right to go and appeal to him, you know, apologize. If, if an apology, yes, if it is going to happen. There is nothing wrong. <laughs> it is better than, it is better than violence. Far better. Far better than, than violence. Saying that um, they are secretly trying to beg him. They cannot even secretly try to beg him when he is still in their custody. That is even as rageous. You do the right thing. And at the end of the day, that right thing gives another better right thing. You do the wrong thing, there's always problems. That is just it. Saying you, you would not do the dialogue. Many people have been suggesting this dialogue for a very long time. Say you will not do it is causing more havoc already. It's causing more harm. In democracy, there is nothing like going too low and there is nothing like going too high. Especially when it has to do with making everyone feel at home in their country. Especially in the situation now that is trouble that is facing Nigeria. Why these people are even agitating is because they do not feel at home. I mean, and feeling at home now, I'm talking about is the real feel at home. Foreigners are treated more nicely than Nigerians. A lot of Nigerians will tell you this. They treat foreigners as if they are masters and gods. And they treat the average common Nigerian as if they are slaves to this master. If you go to various agencies now that are being owned by these people, you see what, what happens there. Like, our people do not have a say. It is still like as if the British is still ruling. But this time around, it is only that 
they use our independence as a camouflage and a canopy so to hide under i mean there is nothing like hide ah we have noticed it is yes everybody can have a change of heart anybody can it should not be a thing of shame of course it should not be except there are people now who are saying that this is a shame to them or we are not in the military regime anybody can have a change of heart at any point in time and of course it is it is particular if it should be brought out to the open so that people will know that the government is actually trying the government is actually yes it is not only when um when things go south this particular issue of if this if this if there's any truth in this particular news if there's truth in this the government should not it is, it is not a thing of shame they should I, I mean come out openly and own up yes we're actually working to dialogue with this person and you know to dialogue with him something has to be, to be done first he has to no longer be in detention he has to be working as a free man and of course not working as a free man then later his house will be invaded though the nigerian government has done like has done a lot of errors so and of course it is uh, you cannot see as a person now that you are you have not made any errors but what happens after you realize that you made errors did you come back and clean up the mess or do you leave the mess there and go ahead saying oh whoever comes next should clear it that is how it should be this particular issue i keep saying it it will do a lot free this man have a dialogue with him I'm telling you, if you have a dialogue and not just dialogue by mouth, not just dialogue by if after the dialogue now, the only people getting in this are the southeastern people. I'm telling you, it's still going to be looking fishy. It will still be looking fishy because people will think, oh, they, they clamored for this and they're getting this. Nigerians do not want that. These people just wanted to be treated equally. Equally. Nobody is saying treat us like kings equally that is what an average nigerian wants an average nigerian if this particular nigerian because he is a public figure is given so much respect that means an average nigeria whether he is a public figure or not should be given respect this particular um this particular person because he's a public figure he's not right i mean when anything he says is is uphold like it is truth and it is He's a person of integrity. The same should go to, for an average Nigerian. Yes. If this particular person will pass um, a police checkpoint without stopping, without even, you know, the necessary checks, then an average Nigerian too should stop and, you know, just go like that. And it goes on and on. What these people really want is calling for dialogue. And at the end of the day, there is a restructuring that goes on. And of course... It is not a thing of shame. Rather, it should be encouraged because we run our practice a democratic system of government.